Hello YouTube, Infinite Imaginary Community, Gandalf here. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, a few of the viewers uh, left comments about, um, you know, update to Wuthering Coast because if you notice, since the last time I done a guide, I have done the guide, um, they have added quite a few other options. First of all, um, there is a unique uh, new buff that's available once per month that will really help a particular um, setup. And Power of Sega City definitely um, is also uh, available now as well. So I thought maybe I'll do a quick update uh, and showing kind of what low investment teams can do. I know there are content creator I was there with uh, massive Kraken stats um, and you all at the amazing damage they do. Like look at how many players are kind of hitting the um, the 18 built mark now. But of course, um, you know, I'm the average, well, maybe I'm more of a veteran player, but definitely not a heavy spender. Um, if I'm counting, I mean, definitely, I don't have the stats or gear. I don't have a lot of mythic gear. So let's, let's talk about, you know, what kind of damage I'm able to do. So Smiting, I think a lot of people were doing with this particular team. It's being shared around quite a bit. Other content creators have shared it. Um, you can go anywhere up to 6 bill, 8 bill with this particular team. But it really heavily depends on what your jack is built out of. And sometimes people do manual this setup. For me, uh, I'll be lucky to cross the the um, the 3 bill mark. So there you go. A little bit over 3 bill. Um, let's take a look at how my jack is built. Okay, I, I honestly think my jack is okay until I saw some other people's and blessing really changed things, right? So this is my jack. Okay, my jack is a little bit on, it's a, almost 46, 48k HP, okay? Uh, I'm running uh, one piece of mythic, Ressal Legendary. Um, this has decent subs. Okay, not, not ideal, I mean, but of the mastery ones I have, this is actually okay um, to get attack and, and speed on it. I mean, I'm just stacking attack and mastery. So any other stats in here, maybe flat attack. I mean, wh what else am I, could I be asking for, right? So, um, so that's kind of my setup. Now, what works really well though, is if you could get this crit damage and uh, crit damage up, sorry, crit rate up to 100%. Um, and let me just show my, uh, my blessing here. So I just got um, the burn damage on him, burn bonus damage. So another 15% bone burn bonus. Um, you could be putting attack or mastery, but crit rate surprisingly will do a lot more damage. So I asked Jamie, some, so I asked someone to share me their jack. So there you go. Um, this is the jack of a jack that does more than six to eight bill damage. What does it look like? So off the bat, what they tell me is um, their aura is kind of maxed out. My aura is nowhere near maxed out. They have a maxed out aura. They have maxed out um, their echo with multiple stars on it. 100% crit rate. And still the mastery is over 200%. It's at 200%. So you got 100% crit rate here. The speed seems to be aligned. So really you're looking at really good pieces of blessings. So maybe you can get like maybe 30% crit rate from there. Um, may, I, I think I might give this a try, but realistically, if you have the stats to do this, you're probably not needing a guide. So for the, hopefully my videos are able to relate with you a little bit better by showing you kind of mediocre stats. But that's not actually what we're here to talk about today because most of you probably don't have like all these limited heroes. And with Sega City, it really changes um, how things go now. So let's take a look at what I can do on Sega City with a very mediocre team. And I showed you guys my stats the other day, right? Let's quickly take a look. So my DM move, just again, look, look, just look at the gear setup, no blessing, okay? Um, you can get a sense of what kind of stats and gear I'm running. I, only one month, sorry, one round of farming. So very bad faction pieces. My interest defense is really low. Okay, people are running as 60k plus for these Krakens. And look at the echoes I'm choosing to use. Very, very budget friendly. 
um, elite ones. You can see the stats for all of these, okay? Uh, mastery, let's see where I can show Indra's mastery. Is there a way to... Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at... I put Moshi in here, but really I should be taking Moshi out. We'll show a different team. My Moshi is actually okay because I did a showcase on her, so I kind of moved gear around for her a bit. My Thus is really out of date. Um, just random gear thrown together. Okay, my fashion is not really geared properly. Just have speed and effective hit. That's it. Uh, and I threw a zero star combat vanguard on it. Um, you can see here it's really, you know, it's 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 very, very mediocre. Yet a team like this, okay, a team like this, okay, is doing 1.4 billion damage. Okay, Moshi is not even is barely doing the damage. So like I like I promised, I I I, I used my latest two eyes on Indra. And Indra the three times the damage, and there you go. So low exclusive. You don't need the Moshi here. Let, let, let's just do this one more time without the Moshi, okay? Just just to make a point. Okay, it's it's 1.2 bill, just four heroes. Now let's put in the Lydia. Um, and the reason why we put in Lydia is just so that uh, we can get DMU's cooldown a little bit more frequently. And we see us hitting. into the 2.6, into the 2.8 bill range. Now, I'm guessing if you put your Thess a little bit faster or better speed tuned to Indra, so that Indra always have the, uh, the, the I think the ripple effect, right? You, you want the, is it the ripple effect? Um, it's the one that increases base attack, right? So, Sorry, where's my Thess? Uh, where did he go? There we go. You want to make sure he, he has Ripple, right? So you want Ripple up and DMU Indra. So this is super low investment, right? Let, let's just try three heroes here. Even even like if you didn't get Fashion, you're still at over a bill damage on just three heroes. So... Um, that's really going to help you get towards your 6.4 bill um, or 3.2 bill, whatever you're working on. Um, if you haven't checked out the other guide, um, what I prefer to run, so so we'll quickly do um, this week's Wuthering Coast. So what I prefer to run is for the direct damage team, I prefer to use something like this. Um, because once you get to a certain level of damage, Survivability actually becomes a little bit of an issue, especially for the non-Kraken players, okay? So if you're pushing high-end damage, here's where you can build Nordak on a separate set, on crit damage set. He does quite a bit. Um, so you can see uh, with the setup, a lot of people are getting the Agatha. Um, so for the setup, what you want to keep in mind is you want to make sure you ban Agatha's third skill because the third skill doesn't hit as much as the first two. So prioritize on that. Uh, Agatha uh, and my Nordak could do a little bit better, uh, but but basically this is a really good way of setting up so that you can use these heroes for a bruiser team, high survivability, do all 20 turns. Um, the one smiting is not available anymore. Uh, I highly recommend that people run this particular team and it's viable, it, it's burn. Uh, it should help you do what you need to do. Um, you're really leveraging Jack here. Um, we're just going to do the test because I want to make sure I actually do get my 6.4. So smiting here. I want to just test um, what's the damage difference here. So under this setup, I think I'm getting close to also a little bit less, 2.5 bill. I want to make sure here, I think one thing is you do want the defense down uh, from from Whistler. So if you have exclusive three, um, do um, do apply. I mean, here's where Bunny is really helpful. Bunny is going to cycle through. It all adds to the survivability aspect of things. So your healing is really coming from Bunny. So anyways, let's do Sega City first. So I'm going to run Sega City, um, but this time around, I think... Um, I wonder if I were to run 
let, let's just test it a little bit because here I feel like the value add, okay, the value add um, battle test, we're going to do Sega City. Um, the value add of speed up actually is is more important than any other buff here. So I'm going to take out um, Moshi here and I'm actually going to just put in Mamook. And, and I'm going to just prioritize this skill too here. Um, let's see what we do here. Because the rest of the team doesn't have a speed up, right? So, okay, it's about the same. Um, definitely with Lydia, the damage is a lot higher. Okay, 1.4. But it's better than, I think, with Moshi in there, right? So... Actually, you know what? Having Moshi in there isn't a bad idea. Um, I think there's another... Um, I mean, my fashion doesn't do, do turn meter increase. If you do turn meter increase, it's definitely going to be a lot better at exclusive 2. Uh, he's exclusive 0 right now. Um, and I think there... I mean, you could build the... Um, sorry. There is this epic, I believe that by getting attacking stance um i think you can scale a little bit better and um let's see what does the other epic do provoke taunt hp up yeah so okay he has deep injury one not not as good as fashion so so i i, I do believe once we have another support into Sega City, you can definitely run uh, a much better team there. So, anyways, let's let's wrap up. So, let's do a Sega City run like this. Um, hold on, battle Sega City. Okay. So, the next team I kind of want to talk about is now depending on what. You, so, you're going for like. Just between these two teams, right? You're you're already close to the 3.2 bill mark, right? For f at least for me. For you, I don't know what it's going to be at. Um, maybe you're going to be at the two bill mark. The next, and, and I feel like the reason why these two teams are really good is because a lot of players do have these heroes. I think um, Agatha is available to everybody. People are gonna pick a Santa. If you don't have a team like that for your direct damage dealer, there there are quite a few options that are viable. So, um, I mean, people usually run either a Lucifer or another direct damage dealer, um, but uh, that kind of gives you a really good option. Again, um, some of you might be wondering, like you you look at the top damage top damage teams, right? Like. It's hard sometimes to figure out which one they, they run it against um, and what kind of stats or what kind of range they run with. Um, but hopefully with this guide, it helps a little bit, um, this updated guide. So so next up, um, we're going to do Flammable Matter. So Flammable Matter, um, I'm not going to show this team because that's what you normally would run. There's Now, if you actually run an all-burn team, so this is a lot more friendly. Um, your core hero here is O'Grady's. O'Grady's is going to be able to shield and provide all, uh, to all allies. Malosh, whenever your team is actually doing a lot of um, burn damage, it helps uh, tremendously. Here, space is just to provide the speed up. Um, we're going to see what the team kind of looks like uh, on different few different runs. So we're at four um, adding Catherine is a really good option. So Catherine can boost it almost double, I think. Okay, so just a little bit more increased. Again, my stats could do some work. We'll show their stats in just a sec. Um, I think I think I tried space and it was working sort of okay, getting me to the. Um, yeah, it's kind of fallen behind a bit, right? Like ideally in these teams, normally what you do is you you don't actually use Anna, you use Wrestler. Um, you know, you like things like this will make it way better, right? It's going to the 20 turns and you can see it's all about stacking up one hero with a lot of support, but these great supports, you can only use it with a few heroes. So, you know, my backup option was kind of something like this. Um, 
is it great? No, it's not great, right? Like that's why we said a team like this will be better, but you can only run these OP support with with a few heroes. Like if you try to run, I mean, you could you could try something like this, um, where, sorry, um, usually Jack is the one that kind of really changed the team dynamic a bit. So things like this where, I don't know, I'm gonna put Jack in here. Right, where you're running all, um, like that boosts damage drastically, but Jack is the one that's doing all the damage, right? So, so the moral of the story here is really find the right support, go with one team, like scaling up on one team, build one team at a time, is gonna give you far more return than trying to build multiple teams, especially when you're starting out. So that's why I showed, you know, Sega City is a really cheap team to build. You really just need an exclusive to Indra with a copy of DMU, can be an exclusive zero, and you'll be hitting the one bell mark already, two heroes, right? Um, the next one, you can try Bruiser team, or if you have, like any of the other team, really you're, you're talking about, again, that, that very strong Jack team. Like, Again, like if we go here and just look at some of the top players, the damage is coming from Indra. The, the other one is a direct damage. Yes, um, you know, Jingle Bell is gonna do great, um, but the other heroes, it's gonna be really hard to cross that one bill mark, okay? Um, here, Narch would actually do really great in this team as a bleed option. Um, Grace, I would actually consider taking Grace out. Um, uh, but again, Narcher is a relatively new hero. So Poison, like, very similar team. Like, putting on more realistic stats, right? Same team. Missing a few exclusives here. I should have more exclusive on them for, for, um, for more damage. But here, like, in comparison against uh, Steven's one build damage, I'm barely crossing the half threshold there, right? Um, so you can see a lot of these teams, yes, you can copy them, but they're not the best return on investment. So focus on only a couple of teams. Um, the next one, I mean, a lot of, if you ever pick up a Nurid, um, just go with any mixed damage. You can hit around the eight, eight, um, eight, uh, 800 to one bill mark, um, depending on what kind of heroes you put in here. So here I'm just putting in uh, a mix of bleeders, Catherine plus um, plus a speed up. Speed up is really critical, and you can see I am at the seven seven hundred mil mark. If I had way more stats, yes, I can push higher, but this is a great way of taking advantage of that particular buff. So I feel like these three teams are relatively easy to build because um, your productive toxin doesn't really require much options. Anyway, so I'm at 3.4. Let's finish up. We'll, we'll use smiting for this one. Um, yeah, I think I th if I do flammable matter, I th yeah, let's let's use smiting. It's safer. So we're gonna use smiting on this. If I use the regular burn, I might be short by a couple hundred. And then so here I'm over the mark. So I'm already my 6.4, which I needed. And then let's go with, uh, I think, Bone Toxin is the last one I'm going to use. Um, HP Burn, you really need a few key heroes. So um, you need Momolo. Momolo is going to really boost your damage with the deep HP Burn. If you're going to try to go for HP Burn team, you want Hazanja, you want Momolo, you want um, uh, Adeline, the, the new hero. And um, you definitely want... Um, if you want to use Adeline, you definitely should use um, uh, Anhedrin because you're going to have you need an excess amount of HP burn for that. So I don't have those heroes, um, but we kind of saw it from um, um, saw it from Steven's team. So so let's take a quick look. I mean, again. Um, so this is kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for Anhedrin. I actually don't see an Adeline here. Um, Adeline would potentially, in theory, do okay here, but again, um, you know, he has really strong heroes. He's already crossed the 1.6 bill mark. Um, not gonna, <laughs> not much to say there, I'll say. Um, 
but yeah, just just crazy, amazing, amazing damage. I think he did the first one of smiting because the concept is, um, if we think about smiting is, okay, it's remove at the end of the ally skills. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how he did it because, again, I again, this is we'll have to ask him, and maybe maybe if Stephen, if you do watch my uh, uh, videos, maybe you can let the viewers know what exactly you did to make um, to do like twelve bill on one team. But I know you have insane stats. Um, anyways, so hopefully this video is helpful for those of you um, watching and is looking to push higher on your on your um, Wuthering Coast. It's a great way to get Mythic gear. Like every, at 6.4, you're pretty much looking at almost one piece of gear um, every single week, which is gonna drastically improve the strength of your account. So with that, um, if you like, please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in a future video. Gandalf out.